everyone happy Monday and welcome to Hunky Dory TV we're starting the week off right with a great launch of new products um, which we are going to do some really cool things with so let's get into it my name is Natalie and I'm going to be running you through the show today then we've got Emily steering the ship again hopefully we've got no issues today Emily good morning good morning and then over in the demonstration station, we've got Becca. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Becca. Hello. Look at us rocking the, the classy black today. I know, I know. That's Very it. sophisticated for a Monday. Definitely. So chic. Um, we hope you all had a really fantastic weekend. We've got um, a really great new product launch. Everyone loved it on Hobby Maker um, earlier on last week. So we can't wait to bring it to you today. Um, but before we get into that, let's have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. And this 
week, you are going to have the chance of winning Ooh. this little beauty. It's our Primary and Craft Tools storage case. Um, this is really, really cool. So not only do you get um, the outer casing, but you also get six of the really, really fantastic storage boxes in here. Um, anyone who likes to organize their inks and their pens are going to absolutely love these. Um, so you can fit six of your ink pads in here. You can fit your gemstones. You can fit your alcohol markers, your brush pens, um, any little bits and pieces, die cuts. I know Becca keeps her die cuts in here um, to use over and over again on different cards. Um, they're really, really, really handy. Um, they just fit in here perfectly. And then another really good point is that if you are working on like a craft desk, you can actually have them open. So you can just slide them out um, when you need them and get all your bits and pieces out. Six winners. Oh, six. six winners. Um, that's quite an incredible um, week for a winning weekly, I think. Um, all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is answer the following question. Um, so you need to like, share and comment on this video or any of the videos throughout the week. You can also enter on the hub. Uh, which bird's arrival in April is said to signal the start of spring? Is it A, a Tweety bird? B, swifts, or C, cuckoos. Um, so which bird's arrival in April is said to signal the start of spring? Um, well, let's be honest, though. It doesn't really feel like spring today. Not today. It's it very dull. very, very sad this morning. I feel like that's probably why we're wearing black. I know, yeah, you know, you do. Because you just didn't want to... There were, I, was, I wasn't feeling floral no. today. We've got a lot of colour on the show, though. It's true. We've got crazy amounts of colour on the show. Um, so let's get straight to it. Um, do we have any V2? We're going straight, straight Ooh. into it. Okay. Well, let's have a look at this then, because we're starting off with our Disco Dots Adorable Scorable Selection. Now, you know we love edge-to-edge -edge foil in here at Hunky Dory. And this one is delightful, mostly because here, you're oh. gonna get 10 different colorways of this beautiful dotty cardstock, which has, has been coordinated so the foil matches perfectly. This contains 20 sheets in total. You get two of each design and it's £9.99. You've got that beautiful, bright, um, pink, we've got the blue with the blue foiling, absolutely amazing. This is going to be perfect for mine and layering, using with your little books, your duo design papers, oh, and yeah. some of um, the item that we're going to show you next. You've also got this beautiful lilac colour, that very beautiful um, pale blue. We've got the orchid for you. I just love the fact that the foiling matches the cardstock. It's incredible. So you've got green with your green, you've got purples with your purples, blues with your blues. It's delightful. This incredible Disco Dots foiled adorable scorable. It's um, the incredible 350 GSM. So construction projects and we have some to show you um, that Amazing Jane has made. They are incredible. Um, and they're just going to finish your cards off beautifully. There's so many really nice things you're going to be able to use this for. £9.99, and that is all 10 of your colourways. But to go right alongside it, what we've done is we've coordinated another product for you. It's our Dotty Luxury Foiled Acetate. So in here, you're going to receive um, this Dotty edge-to-edge foiling. And if I lift it off, you can see it's completely... Um, see-through, however, layering it on top of different colours is going to give you different looks. You've got th four different colourways in this. We've got black, we have the silver, we have, I think that was gold actually. You have black, you have gold and you have silver. And then you also have the amazing white. It's look so at that. It's so cool that, isn't it? It is incredible. Um, so the Dotty Luxury Fold Acetate contains 16 sheets. You're going to get four of each of those colorways. Um, it is our heavyweight acetate. So again, construction projects, it's going to be absolutely perfect for. 
Um, but let's go over to Becca yes. um, and see the really cool things that you can be making when you get this home. I know, there's so many cool different things you can make with it. I just absolutely love it. It goes perfectly because the colours match your adorable score ball. Yeah, and adorable score ball, that Miri Mega Mix, which yes. is something we're going to be bringing um, onto the show oh, um, in a yes. little bit later on. Um, any of your new dyes that you've been buying, whether it's your frame dyes, your nesting dyes, it's going to work perfectly with that. Pairing oh, it up with 100%. either your in, your sentiments from your sentiment sheet or using your um, trimming insert pads in a different way is going to be really, really nice. What I, what I think is really special about it, though, is the matching foiling. Oh, definitely. Because like, you could have put gold on here, you could have put silver, but the fact that we've gone with coloured foiling... It's really cool, isn't it's it? It's really, really cool. I know, and you don't expect this coloured foiling, you know, which is so luxurious and so unusual. You don't expect it to be this price either, do you? No, £9.99 £9 for 20 sheets of that incredible heavy weight, um, 350 GSM. You know, it might be foiled, but you've still got the qualities of your adorable score. Oh, definitely. So that bending technology is going to be there. If you wanted to just use this for car blanks, you're going to be able to do that, and it's going to work amazingly. Oh, 100%. So what I've done is I've popped the, I've gone straight with the red, this beautiful bright red. Disco dots. Who, disco dots. Who doesn't love a little disco on a Monday morning? I know. Perfect. So we've gone straight in with that, and then I've also gone with, again, like you say, it die cuts amazingly. Um, so I've gone in with my scalloped rectangle. So this is going to be our matte and layer, but rather than just covering it up, we're sort of going to weed or gut our cardstock so okay. that we can, you know, just make a little bit more use out of it, get that bit of value going. And, um, and we don't often have time to do it live, so I thought, well, I'll be frugal and I will use my cardstock. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, and then here's the plate. So we're just going to pop that on through. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't cut it at a perfectly straight angle on the cardstock because we're going to cover it with our white inky anyway. So you just want that edge to sort of come through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as long as there's room around the edges. Um, hang on one second. Oh, I think it was just my tape getting stuck on there. Sorry. It's quite a good press, actually. Tell you what, I'll do it. I'll do it at the side and I bring it in. I think sometimes when it's on the mat, it just it moves, doesn't moves it? it? Yeah, it does just move slightly. it. So I'll just do it quickly out of out of the camera. There we go. That's going through absolutely fine. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know why my the die cutting machine's not behaving today, Nat. I know. Then these plates as well. They are maybe literally. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's angry. Yeah, it's like, what maybe are you doing? Like, why, I'm used to my why, old ones. Why, why the new plates? Oh, I think, right, let's just get this tape off and start again. I'm sorry, guys. Will I have the, got one. If it's really not playing. One work? Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll use the bigger one. If not, I've got one ahead of time, so it's absolutely fine. Yeah, it's just my tape's getting a little stuck here. I swear this always happens to me when I'm on here. Well, it's just the look of the draw. I mean, you can do things a thousand times over, but doing them live. It's a different, it's a different story, isn't it? It is. Yeah, let's go with the big one. Turn it over and see if it'll do it the other way around. You know, what, you this way? Put, put it in the other way, you play. Is it working? Oh, yeah. I oh really don't goodness. know why I thought that that would work. Well, I'm glad you suggested it. And it definitely it. Shouldn't, shouldn't have worked, should have, you know, it should work both ways. But hey ho, we did it, we got there. Okay, perfect. Right, let's move on. And then, so we've got our white piece of ink meat and we've got our little our little scalloped rectangle here. And now you're going to be able to use the inside of that for other projects. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Um, no, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this. Are you going to reuse it? Yeah, of course. This is like crazy. I know. Are you really making the most out of How it? How much can we get out of one piece of cardstock? Absolutely, of course. Okay, so... Let's then go in, we'll do our last bit of die cutting and we will just pop our scalloped circle. Now, I'm not sure how big I want this to be, so we'll get both out. I'm pretty sure I want this one. Yeah, I will. Okay, so let's just pop that on the corner and we'll go right as close as we can get. 
And then once that's all done, we can start building up this, this card. This is going to be really cool. Let's have a look and see who's joining us today, Becca. Okay. Um, because we've got lots of people joining Yay. on both um, Facebook and YouTube. So good morning, everyone. Um, hello, Tanya, Susie, Annette, Sue, Kelly, Tracy, Jackie, Vicky, um, Sandra, Jenny, um, Michelle, everyone um, who's over on YouTube. A lot of people answering our question. Um, they're going with C, cuckoos. Cuckoos. Mm. I have to say, though, I wasn't sure it was going to be Tweety Birds. That did sound like one of Emily's silly answers. Yeah, she just thrown that one in. For <laughs> yeah, definitely. To okay. trick us all, hasn't uh, she? Absolutely. She knows us so well. Okay, right, lovely. Let's get that off, and then let's glue this down. Okay, so we're going on with our ink me next. And we'll just sort of glue it so that it's got a nice little bit of... Um, a dotty edge to it so let's go in with our construction glue and everyone um is joining us with us on youtube as well we've got gail jenny muriel um paula bex anastasia kim joanne kathy patricia good morning to everyone we hope you've had a, a lovely weekend and are um looking forward to this week's busy schedule of shows with lots of fun things coming up oh there really is definitely yeah 100 percent. always lots of fun here okay and then let's just pop this down towards the corner um because i kind of want that at a sort of little angle so oh, that's cute yeah it's going to look really good and like i say we're just using all that cardstock just out of a five by seven piece so you've still got all the rest of it left for your other projects or whatever else you might want to do for it Still got a little left for die cutting. Um, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a really cool card. Right, so let's get this foam pad strip on this side. Um, yeah, perfect. So we'll take those off, pop that towards the bottom corner. And then I kind of want it fairly tight. <clears throat> so I'll just pop that just up there, okay. And then I have skipped ahead just so that it's not just constant die cutting. Um, and I've made some little pieces here. So we've got some black circles, which are using our duo our stitch ones. stitched edge. Oh, nice. yeah. And we're just going to sort of build this card up, make it look really cute. And I've die cut another sort of stitched edge circle and I've cut that in half just on the trimmer. Really, really nice and easy. Okay, so let's get this built up. I'm going to make a little <gasps> ladybird. How adorable. It's going to be so cute. So, you know, even though it just looks like a flat, plain piece of cardstock, there's so much you can do with it. And I'm all about, you know... Um, this one's very, very cool. And I mean, like, yeah, just looking at the cardstock in a completely different way and seeing how you can um, make something totally different with it. Absolutely, yeah. It's, you know, I love just building things up, seeing how things come together. So I've just put a little bit of red tape just to secure those two circles together. And then I'm going to just pop his little wings on there. Um, so let's go in with some, we'll get some more tape. We'll put this flat so it just looks like it's just peeping out of there, making sure, oh, there's plenty of room for him, so that's fine. So we'll pop another couple of little pieces of our red tape just whilst it's to hand. You don't really need anything this high tack, but I thought it's here. And then we'll pop one more little one on his head. Okay, but yeah, it's just such a cute, I just thought that bright red, it's a real ladybird red, isn't it? It is, it is. Um, and you know, we're all starting to see those, I've got loads of ladybirds in my I'm garden at the minute. I've not seen one yet, but our garden currently is kind of like half building site. Okay. Um, so when it gets nicer and obviously we've got the planters in and we've got the flowers um, yeah. going, because I'm definitely going for, for wildflowers this year. Oh. I mean, I cannot wait to be sat out there and just see like the birds and oh, the butterflies definitely. all coming down and the bees. Um, it's gonna be so fun. It's, so. it's so enjoyable, especially when it's in your own house and your own garden. It yeah. feels really special, doesn't it? So I can't wait to, for it to, for the sun to come back. That's Oh yeah, that, that does help. Um, we'd like the sun back, but um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think so, definitely. Okay, amazing. Joy so. stopped trying to count what, um, trying to count how many dots they've got oh yeah actually sometimes i do because some of them are really really dotty aren't they yeah um so we're just going to put those wings there and then i've just got some tiny 
little antennas that I just cut freehand from some adorable scoreball. So we'll just pop those on just very gently on there. So I think what I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a teeny tiny bit of craft glue for those. Or mm, I might use my glue stick. They are very oh, glue skinny. glue stick would be quite good. Yeah, I think so. Just, just to get in that little gap. Yeah, because they're just so skinny, aren't they? And it's just going to just go over a little bit. So we'll just use a little bit of glue stick. So press that one on there. And then we'll get his other one on. Oh, so cute. And then you could add like gemstones for his eyes or... Definitely, couldn't you? Um, yeah, definitely. So, because we have some really teeny tiny ones. Um, I'll see if we've got any like black ones or red ones that we might that might look good. Red might be a bit weird actually. Let's go with black. Yeah, red might look like um, a supersonic. Oh, yeah, a little bit like a game a show character. Kind of a little bit of an angry, angry one. Angry ladybird. Okay, so let's pop two little eyes on here with our gemstones and then that's our bling all sort of ticked off. Oh, it's cute. And then we just finish off with our sentiments. So we'll go with the Moonstone Mini. We'll just go with the With Love. And I might just do that in the um, black. Yeah, I think that's going to work really nicely, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just probably do that um, black, black and white, do we think? Yeah, I think so. So we'll just get that in really, really quickly to finish this card off. So I've gone with Love. Um, just because, like I say, it just, it's a really nice generic sort of um, sentiment then. Okay. Let's get that stuck on there. Jeanette says you've given me some ideas um, for me to make. Tanya says, I love the glue stick. I last used it on die cut sentiments and it worked perfectly. It really, really does work amazingly oh, on it your does, sentiments. It? It's great. Um, Sally says, wobbly eyes would look awesome. Oh my goodness, they really they would. They would look so fun. Oh, they really would. Um, and Ella has asked a question, is your par parchment heat resistant, please? Um, we, in the office, all use the parchment when di uh, heat embossing. So we often heat emboss sentiments onto there or stamps onto our, um, onto our parchment. Oh and yeah, definitely. we have no problem at all with it. I would say just because it is parchment, just be really careful um, not to sort of keep your um, heat tool too close, but um, we all use our parchment with our embossing um, powders. So yes, um, we would definitely use it for anything where you're going to add heat to it. And doesn't it look amazing? And it works for your printer too. So if you want to print your sentiments or um, anything like that, you're going to be able to print if you've got a laser printer um, and you use your um, laser printer to print and then run it through um, with some sort of foil on top. Oh yeah, so foil it as well, which is really quite cool. That would be amazing, but it does give it such a stunning effect, doesn't it? Heat yes. embossing on parchment. I love heat embossing on parchment. Oh it's me too. So pretty. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Okay, so we're just going with the glue stick again, just to you know, like like I say, it works an absolute dream on those really nice little skinny die cuts. So we'll pop that onto there as well. Okay, and then just give it a really good press. And then let's pop that on our card. Anastasia over on um, YouTube has asked what cardstock would go with this. So um, there's two cardstocks I would definitely maybe get to go with this. So all the colours that we have selected for this collection have all come from our core adorable scrollable cardstock. So that one's going to work really nice definitely. because it's plain. Is going to work with all of your colours. Um, another one that I would suggest um, would be our Miri Mega Mix because you're going to have all of those crazy colours of Miri that we have included in that Mega Mix. You're going to get them all in this card, so definitely go for that one. Oh, absolutely, and it's just going to pick up that foiling so nicely, isn't it? It's going to give it a really nice, like, metallic kind of look. Definitely. Okay, so let's just pop that on there just in the corner and then we'll add our word on that's just fallen off so we'll just give that another nice good press perfect okay so let's get that Very on our card cute. blank it's so cute and then we will get this all stood up and looking proud he looks so so sweet all ready for spring 
Um, so because we've, um, obviously you can see where we've gutted it, but um, when we get it on our card, no one will no know. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. And you've saved more of that red for another card. Absolutely. And like I say, we don't always get time to do it. So um, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'll just stick that back on. It's just coming out. My hands are, are a bit gluey from that stick. So I'm just gonna pop it on there and give it a really good press with my back of my hand. And there we have it all done, our disco dots. Really, really cute. cute. Little ladybird card. I've made such a mess, but sometimes that's the best kind of crafting. <laughs> it's really, really cute. And there's some other examples of cards the team have made as well. Here we go. You can see this beautiful one here. Um, using those um, our wavy borders that we brought to you with our um, portrait flower stamps. Um, we've also got some really fun ones here, just using nesting dies. Uh, we've got some that layer up both the parchment, uh, both the acetate and the cardstock. Sorry, um, and I really love how the um, double sort of tag put the tags been used on the top and the bottom of this to make a really cool um, sentiment. You could do some really funky things like this one. We've used the mirror on the inside, but then the card at the front is just acetate. Oh, and then we've that. cut around those dots to make it really fun. And then Kat's on this crazy number. Oh, wow. And utilised a lot of her different colours. But how fun is this? I love that. I think any age range is going to love cards like this. Um, you're going to be able to use this with some of your collections that have that speciality foiling on. So any sort of purples you've got or... Uh, maybe you've still got some of that True Blue collection. Um, or was it Teal Treasures? It was Teal Treasures um, that had the beautiful blue teal foiling. So you, that's going to work really nicely with it. Oh, definitely. Um, some more crafting essentials that you need to definitely add to your baskets um, to work alongside this is one, our Miru Mega Mix. I've said it a few times now, but it's absolutely perfect because in here you've got 25 different colorways of Miri. Um, and I can promise you that these are going to work really nicely. So you're obviously going to have more than the colours that you have in your 10 sheet pack. Um, but that's not a problem because we can use them with other things. Uh, we've got greens. We've got that beautiful um, lilac colour that you will see. We've got a really nice yellow. Um, we've got that yellow included. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got green. We've got orange. We've got that beautiful pale blue. Um, there's that red. Oh, yeah. There is that red. So you could have coordinated this with that card that Becca's just made. Um, it's a really, really good essential pack. This has been probably, I would say, one of the best sellers of the month. Yeah. The month of March, this went absolutely crazy. Um, everyone has loved it. And I can see why. It's an incredible cardstock. Um, it, you've got so many different colorways. It's 220 GSM, so any of your sort of construction projects you can make with these, and it's only £19.99. Um, and that's not even thinking about your, your discount. So remember, if you are a member of our um, club, our Humpy Dory Club, then you get automatically 5% off all of your orders. Um, so it's always a good thing to be in that. Um, you don't have to pay anything. All you have to do is log in, create an account, um, over on the website and automatically you'll get 5% off everything. And if you're a Platinum member where you get your magazine's uh, subscription as well, you'll get 10% off every order. So think about it. It's always worth um, just going on, creating a, an account, joining the club because you're always going to get added benefits. Then we've also got for you our Parchment Essentials. Now we touched on this a little bit um, on Friday's show, I think. Um, because it worked really nicely with some of the products we were showing you then as well. Um, but we have a really large selection of um, parchments here. This is our bright selection, um, and this is parchment. Look at that. So imagine Ooh. you're doing birthday invitations. You wanted to make them a bit special, maybe wedding invitations, and you have a colour scheme. Then, the, like I said before, these are going to run through your printers. Get your invitations put on these. Back it onto some... Um, adorable scorable or maybe some pattern packs depending on the theme of the wedding it's going to look incredible um, but you've got so I think you get eight different colors you get three of each design in these packs so there's 24 
pack all together, um, but really bright colours. We've also got them in our monochrome selection. So in here you've got those darker colours, those greys, those browns. Um, we've also got our parchment dove white essentials, which is our classic white parchment. We do a pastel colours as well, which is really light shades. And then our super deep festive colours, um, that red, green, those royal blues and purples um, are all included in here. Here. There is another parchment as well, which we absolutely love here at Hunky Dory, uh, which I am going to have to um, show you before we get to Becca's next demonstration. It's our pretty patterned printed parchment. Oh, I love this. It's absolutely stunning. Now, what we've done here, and th this is something that isn't really done a lot, uh, but we have printed white onto white parchment, which gives you this beautiful overlay. And if I go to that other camera, Emily, you'll be able to see the real detail in the pattern. So this one is beautiful sort of big blooms. Then you have um, this absolutely gorgeous one with sort of like those stamps on there. Then we've got your really, really nice, um, cool sort of like wood grain effect. We've got lace patterns in here. Look at that detail. It is incredible. It's crazy, it's so beautiful. Um, so apertures that you create, you can pop these in. Um, you can do 3D designs with this and add these into sort of elements. We've got that really nice tartan um, pattern. Then we've got our splats. Oh, I love that one. That's really fun. And finally, we have those really nice Moroccan-esque tiles. Um, this one is really fun. Um, also, because it's parchment, if you wanted to, you could colour elements of this in as well. Um, so you could use your alcohol markers to add little touches of colour to it. But they are some um, of the core essentials that you could be adding in to work alongside today's amazing um, offer. Um, so let's go back over to Becca for another demonstration. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be going back to that dotty acetate and just, again, just having some really good fun with it. So... Uh, I've got a piece of our green adorable scoreable, a really nice, bright, fresh spring green. And because A4 itself is a little bit awkward, we're going to trim that down to 28 centimetres. So we're just going to line that up on the trimmer and then just trim it too. Okay. And then what we're going to do is as well, I've picked the silver um, foil in. Cute. I know, it's so sweet, isn't it? And we're going to again just line that up to 28 and trim. Okay, and then what we want to do is we do want to do a little bit of scoring. So we'll bring our scoreboard and our tool in. So I've got that right here. And we are working in, if you hadn't guessed by my trimming, we are working in metric with this one. Just because obviously we've cut it down to 28 centimetres, it's a little bit easier going metric. So we'll turn our acetate round and all we want to do with this is score it directly in half at 14 centimetres. So it is our really nice heavy weight. You can really feel um, how easy it is to score. Um, it holds so, the shape quite well as well. Oh, it really it? does, doesn't it? Absolutely. So I'm just going to, um, I might just go in with one more. It sounds really crazy, but for those people who like to do like box making and um, things like that oh. with acetate. It makes the most incredible boxes, it's doesn't really it? It's really nice. Um, Christmas. We we talk a lot about Christmas very early on. Maybe around April time. Yeah. It's mad. We talk about Christmas at Easter time. But Christmas is something that we are heavily focusing on at the moment here. We're getting ready for it, people. Um, so we really are. I mean, that's going to work really nicely on Christmas. Um, Christmas gift boxes. All your gift boxes. Yes. yes. Right, so are we ready for the scores? Do so it. So we're going in at, so again, metric, centimetres. So we're going in at three, at six, at ten, at fourteen, and our last one at twenty-one. Okay, and then what we want to do is we just want to concertina all those up to make our very own little stepper. Um, we've got um, people asking for a little recap on the Win It Weekly question. Um, we can give you that now. Yeah, of course. 
you can win the Premier Crackle storage case. And the question you need to answer is, which bird's arrival in April is said to signal the start of spring? A, a Tweety Bird, B, Swiss, or C, Cookies? Get your answers in for a chance to be one of the six lucky people to I know, win that I can't believe we've got six winners. We just love, love, love giving stuff away. Okay, so... Right, okay, so the next stage is going to be putting this acetate just as a tent right the way over it. How funky is this? It's going to be really funky. So we're going to go in with our high tack tape just because it's going to be the best for this kind of project. So I'm keeping my cardstock pressed down because I have given it a good burnish, but it does really want to um, just bounce up a little bit there. So I'm just going to sort of put two or three pieces on just across the length of my cardstock. And then we can cover up our workings really easily with some nice patterned paper. Um, okay. So, like I say, it's a really nice, fresh spring green that. So we are going to put that on there, but we're going to just put that to one side. And I'm just going to bring in our... So we've got our Duo Design paper pad, Delicate Damask and Soft Marble, and I've picked out the perfect green to go with oh, it. Oh, that's very nice. So nice, isn't it? Absolutely so, so fresh and pretty. So, um, like I say, we know that we're working in centimetres, so we'll just get those on here. So our smallest mat is sort of three centimetres, so I'm just going in sort of like a couple. Again, the centimetres are all in notches, so... You can just sort of take two or three of those off. Yeah. And then again, it's it's absolutely fine on the length actually because it's eight inches, so we don't need to cut any more off. That's going to be quite a big mat and layer. And then our next one is is this three? Oh, this one's four. Perfect. So again, we'll just go to four. Get it sort of three notches under, and then leave that one to one side. And then this one is six, isn't it? Uh, let me just it's seven. Seven? Yeah, it is. So again, we're just going to go sort of three notches under there. And we obviously need two of those because we want to cover the back. So um, we'll make ourselves the second one of those. I can't believe we've got that out of one sheet of duo design paper pad. I know. I am. Is, you're being very nifty today. I'm trying. <laughs> um, perfect. So we've got all those pieces. So let's get all those glued on or stuck down. So let's just double check that we're happy with our mats and layers and how big they are. Yeah, I think that's going to be absolutely fine. Um, so we'll get those on with some tape. And then the, the first one, I'm guessing, you'll stick your acetate Oh, the down. acetate too, yeah. So we're going to do that one last. So I'll pop the tape on it and put that to one side. Otherwise, I would have totally forgotten about that. Thank you, Nat. Um, so we'll do that one and then pop that to one side. But it's so easy just to make sure you've got your mats and layers on those middle sections first because, oh, honestly, trying to stick... Them Even going like, inside, yes, I know it's going to be those. very awkward. Honestly, I think I do it all the time and I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm going to stick cardstock on the inside and then having to like shuffle it in. Oh, I know. In, in the place. I think when you're just mid crafting, you go on a roll. And I think especially when you've got construction to do, you forget about your mats and layers, don't you? Yeah. So you're just like, right, I'll construct the card and then I'll embellish it with my mats and layers. And you're like, oh, no, don't do that. So let's just lay that in there and then we'll get our big piece on as well. Oh, loving this pattern it's together. It's a really nice um, sort of juxtaposition between that fresh apple um, and then sort of that paler green. I know, it's marbles. almost like a really soft kind of line, isn't it? It's so beautiful. And I think the marble just really, like I say, that sort of softens it as well because it's a nice gentle pattern with that bright cardstock. So... We'll just do this last little mat and layer on here and then we can, again, go back to our construction. I'm really excited to do this card. We've got some really fun things to embellish it with as well. Okay. So, again, just squeezing it in there. And because our steps are really nice and it's that adorable scoreable, they're so, like, proud, so it's really easy to just mat and layer straight onto there. Okay, so now what we want to do is our acetate. So, again, we're going to do this front step as well. So I'm just going to put sort of two pieces on here and then we can get our acetate on there. Okay. 
so yeah we'll just go with two pieces and I'm not going right to the edge because our matting layer just won't cover it if we go right to the very edge so we'll get our backing off And Stasia, let us know what dies you're looking for and we'll be able to help you out with your question as to where to find them on the website. Oh, there's some really great dies on there, isn't there? Absolute essentials. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of slide it in and then just kind of stick it nice and straight. Lots of people are watching and crafting at the same time. Um, oh, Linda's yay. making an Easter card using her hair's um, topper collection. That is a great topper collection for Easter. Oh, definitely. It's perfect as well, isn't it? Those hairs. Oh, me and my dad went to pick up our um, Mother's Day afternoon tea to bring it home. We had it sort of takeaway style. And we went to this like little farm shop to get it. And there was a hare in the meadow. And I was oh. like, oh, look, Padre, it's a, it's a rabbit. And he was like, that's a hare, Rebecca. I was like, oh, no, we're getting told off. I'm not knowing my wildlife. But they have much longer ears, don't they? Yeah. OK, so let's hide our workings. To be honest, it's that forgiving. You wouldn't really know because of that dotty pattern. Yeah, you can't really see it that You much, really can can't. You? I bet on camera you can't see it at all, but we'll just cover it up just to be really nice and neat. And then we've got that pattern at the front as well. So we're just going to sort of lay this on here, just on top of here. And then on the back too, you can see it a little bit more on here because we've got more and it's a much bigger panel. So again, we'll just stick this one. Again, if you wanted it to make it a little bit more moody and a bit more dramatic, you could use this beautiful um, yeah, reverse side. Yeah, that's a really side. nice reverse colour, isn't it? Oh, a bit it's deeper with the gorgeous. green, but really nicely to coordinate with this. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, these dual design pads, especially this particular one, are such a favourite of mine. Um, okay, oops. Okay, so let's get that stuck on and then we can move on to the fun part. And as well, you could write your message on here. Yeah. As long as you don't use like a, you know, like a fountain or a really inky pen, you're absolutely fine to write on these as your inserts. So you could definitely write your message on there. Okay, so then I've gone with our Whopper Topper pad, just because I know it'll fill the space absolutely perfectly. Yeah. And the one that I've gone for is... Oh, this is going to work perfectly. It really is, isn't it? So... Um, I'm so, so apologies, sorry not sorry for just doing loads of animal cards. Um, it's going to be super cute. But I just think they're just so cute. And the colours are going to match absolutely wonderfully. You've got that gold silver sort of feel from the um, foiling on here as well. Absolutely. Well, because I was kind of like looking through my kit, I was just like, right, what's going to go really, really well? And I came straight to this one. Um, Emily agreed. She was like, oh, that's so cute. Like, the topper is gorgeous. So I was like, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put... I'm going to be... You're not really going to see them because you can't really see inside that bit of the card, but I'm going to be kind of minimal with my foam pads and just put them sort of around the bottom. Um, I, think, I think that might be all we need anyway. They're so strong. So I'll just put that one on there. And then what else have we got on here? We've got some gorgeous little corners with that, again, that polka dotty detail. You've got that really nice um, What's border that? strip as well in this one. Oh, You've got yes. two border strips, actually, which is really fun. I know, we've jammed absolutely loads on this Whopper Topper pad. Like three sentiments. Yeah, absolutely. You could be getting two cards out of this. Yeah. Um, I know you've not got your big main. Obviously, once you've used your main sort of centerpiece one, you're not going to have that, but... Um, you could always put it on one side and then put your fill you fill the gap with your sentiment. With my sentiment, yeah, I could do actually, couldn't we? Right, let's do that. Amazing. And I think I'm gonna go with have the most wonderful day here. Yeah, that looks great. So let's go with that. We've got some foam pad strips anywhere. Yes, we do. Um, okay, so let's go. Let's put a big, nice, big strip on here and put that in the top right hand corner. do is we'll just snip it into a little 
a little flag, which is what I want, oh, which is what I love to do. You know, if it doesn't go like all the way across, yeah, you can just flag it. Slightly too small, just make it a bit more decorative. Yep, and just put it into a little flag. So then we can squeeze that under there and it just looks like it's just meant oh, to very be. Cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so let's get that on with some construction glue just so that that'll give us that little bit of wiggle to squeeze it under there. Okay. And then we can just straighten out. It's looking good. It is. Oh, love it. And then I think we'll just go with the corner and then we might just pop that one. Yeah, let's do that. Right, and then we can get this all finished. Um, amazing. So I'm going in with some more foam pads just to give it real dimension. And like I say, you won't see that because the card is a tent fold. You're not really going to be looking in no. those sides. So it doesn't matter. Do not worry about your workings on this one because you will not see them. Um, perfect. And then I think we'll go with might have a tiny little strip left on the side of my box. Um, so I'll just use a little bit of that. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm not going to put any gemstones because there's plenty of toppers on here. And I'm just going to put one of those corners. Just sort of framing that circular topper. Oh. Lay it down. It's such a good way of using up all of your little bits and pieces from other collections oh, that you might have and coordinating um, bits and pieces. So we've used the so adorable scurrible, we've used the acetate that we've got for you on the show today, um, and then we've added a whopper topper page. So three completely different sort of launches, but how well they all coordinate together. And there's something I love about our products is that you can always find little bits and pieces here and there that are going to work great together absolutely and if you I want to idea. you can pop some um obviously the whopper topper pad i didn't want to use more than one page but if you wanted to you could embellish your steps yeah you could add different bits um, and pieces out you could definitely. decoupage oh yeah some little bit um elements to go on the inside it's lovely a very very fun card um with using some of those bits and pieces let's um have a look because we launched our super savers last thursday and we have some items that i definitely think would work really nicely with this collection um first of all um we have our designer selection two stamp sets they you're going to get six a6 stamp sets um they're now only 24 pound um then we have our mixed media mat so for any of you who love your stamping you're going to love this it's 12 pound 99 at the moment it's a must have as well um, our precious pearl gemstone bundles. Now these are going to work amazingly with this um, item we're bringing to you today. It's only £14.99 at the moment. We've also got our um, craft mats. This is our 12 by 12 mat. That's now £6.99. But go online and look at Super Savers because we have offers on all of our mats at the moment. Um, then we've got our Glimmer Mist selection. These are now £35. You're going to get 12 of the brand new colours. Um, for only £35. Of course, everyone needs it. It's our fingerless tape roll bundle. Now you can get 10, um, 10 of these tapes. They are 33 metres in total, so you're going to get 330 metres altogether for £8.75. And then finally, another really good addition to have that will work perfectly with this is our Duotone paper pad. So they are currently on a buy one, get one free. And that is everything we have on our Super Save deals. So head over to the website, have a look, because there's definitely some um, little bits and pieces there. They might have sold out, but who knows. Um, and Super Savers runs up until the 10th, so you can get all of these deals. Is that correct? Yeah. The 10th, that was right. Um, you can get all of these deals up until the 10th, so make sure you head over and have a look at that. Um, so let's have a look at that amazing deal again. Um, we'll go through, we'll go to the acetate first of all. So the acetate, you're going to get 16 sheets here. Um, you're going to get four designs. So all the same pattern, but you're going to get them in four different colorways. You can see here, I've got the black. Um, we've got the gold, um, this beautiful gold here. We have it in silver 
and then finally we have it in the white selection which is so starkly in contrast against that adorable scorable there. Um, so £11.99 is 220 microns, perfect for your construction projects. £11.99 if you want our Dotty Luxury Foiled Acetate. And then next up, um, sort of the, the queen of the show oh, is definitely. our Disco Dots Adorable Scorable. Um, edge to edge foiling in coordinating colours. You're going to get 20 sheets, 10 designs, two of each colour. We've got it in that beautiful fuchsia um, in a really nice royal blue. That gorgeous lavender. My favourite is this beautiful baby blue sky colour. We've got it in the orchid, which I think is really special. You can see it when I'm sort of moving it around. All of the colours work really nicely with your cardstock. There's that beautiful green. Um, we've got the pink in here. Beautiful baby pink. Think about new baby cards because this is going to look oh, definitely. really nice in there, isn't it? Um, then we've got the red. I feel like I've got blue twice there, Emily. You might be missing a colour. We've got blue in this one twice. Um, and then that yellow. Really, it reminds me of sunshine, this one. So, so nice. £9.99 if you want that. It is on our adorable scorable. So our cool colourway adorable scorable is a perfect combination. You can get that on our website. Shop at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Um, let's have a look at some more card models before we get to our last demonstration of the day. Oh, absolutely. Um, because there's some really fun ones here. I love this one here, using it as a little balloon, coordinating it with some of your stamps that we brought to you. Um, this one's a really nice one, um, which shows you how you can work it with the parchment. I'm mixing and matching um, your colours with the Miri as well, because the Miri is be on the behind of this one. Um, and then finally, we have this really fun one with all of the different colours and we're utilising that trim me insert pad on the front of our card instead of behind. Now, if you don't want to make cards with this, you can make the most beautiful construction projects. So here are just two um, that Jane made last week. They're absolutely fantastic. I think you could fit a small bottle of Prosecco in this. Yeah, I'm definitely. not going to lie. Um, so you can see she has used one sheet of that beautiful white acetate. We've got an on the edge sentiment which says congratulations. You can pop that lid off fill this with some goodies, maybe some sweet treats. I mean, if I received this at Easter and it was filled with mini eggs, I wouldn't be complaining um, because <laughs> I absolutely love mini eggs. Um, but it's so fun how she's created this. And this is just, um, I think it's just two pieces of adorable scorable that she's used here. And then she's used a trimmer to cut these apertures out. Oh, wow. It's so, so clever. And then this one is another favorite. I don't know how she did this. It's magical. It's like a little treasure chest and you open it up and it has a beautiful sort of like hidden lid effect. And then you've got all of that spacing in there. Isn't she so clever? She is amazing. She is so, so good at our 3D projects. It's amazing. So not only can you make beautiful cards with this, but it is the perfect match for your 3D projects. Just £9.99 if you want to get that. Becky, you're doing a 3D project next. A small one, yeah. So let's get to it because I'm very excited. Okay, right. Oh, I don't even know what colour to do. Um, I think I might, I'm tempted to go with the pink, you know, as always. Um, right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to make a little Easter basket. So if you want something else to put even more mini eggs in. Oh, I mean, anything. <gasps> anything we will be absolutely rocking and rolling here with this project so normally i make i make these every year for my nephews um maybe not in bright pink but you know um, i make these every year for my nephews and they always go down so well even with my big nephew who's now 16 he still loves it and would everyone not everyone loves chocolate i no know one's gonna no one's going to say no to chocolate no one's going to say no normally i make them out of a3 but you can make it out of a4 it's obviously just trims it down a little bit in size but it's fine so what we want to do is we want to cut our cardstock down to six by six. Um, this is in the handbook as well, but it's with slightly different measurements. Um, it's in metric in the handbook, whereas I have done uh, inches, just in case anyone prefers that. And it's just it does make it very slightly bigger as well. Okay, so we're going to flip it over to the inches side, like the main front of the um, scoreboard. So yeah, so that's, as you can see, six by six, perfect. 
And then we need to divide it into sort of three sections. So the way to do that is scoring it at two and four. So we'll score it at two. Not going through those dots, I've flipped it over to the other side. So nice, good scores. And then same again, two and four, or four and two. Okay, so perfect. So um, then what we want to do is we want to cut it into the sort of basket shape, okay? So we're going to just cut that just using some sort of triangles. So you go from the outer edge all the way to the inner score here, and you do that on both sides of the cardstock. So that'll give us just a really cute little boat shape for our basket. This is so quick to do. Oh, it's so, it really is. So quick and easy. I think I've been caught out a few times and I've even made these on Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, so you, the, that's how quick they are. Um, so perfect. So just again, just going into that corner. We don't cut away any of the cardstock, like we do need it all. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna cut these triangles just into the middle. And then he's going to kind of make your tabs as well as making the shape of your, your basket. Yeah. Yeah, so these are going to be the sides of the basket. So we want these to stand up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold all these triangles sort of in just to give them a really nice good sort of crease on those scores. And then we can stick it all together. So they sort of come in and sit oh. there. Yeah, so nice. when it's done, it sort of sits like like that. And then we've got our handle on there. Very so that's nice. our cute little boat basket. Okay, so what I want to do is, again, I'm going to move my scoreboard out of the way because I don't need it. I will just keep the tool handy just in case I need to do any little bits of burnishing. And then, again, I'm going to take my um, absolute trusty favourite today, our high-tack tape. And then I'm just going to put a tiny little piece just on each of the bottom of these triangles. We don't want to go too high up because we're going to trim it off anyway and we just don't want it to be a, like a bit of a sticky, sticky, uh, mess. sticky mess with our scissors because it will just, those blades will absolutely go to town on it sticking together. So we'll just cut that there and then we know that that's going to be hidden by oh, our basket. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so let's just carry on and we'll just do all, all four. So we'll just do the other two. Lots of people saying that they're going to have to give these um, boxes a go. They're so gorgeous, so useful. They certainly are. You're going to be able to use them all of the time. Oh, and that's it. And you know because it's adorable scoreable, it's not going to let you down. It's going to last ages. It's going to be able to put your presents in. You know, you just know that it's going to just, you can rely on it, can't you? Um, which is just what we what we all need. Who doesn't want a good quality, reliable cardstock that you can do these kind of projects? And it makes it so easy. Um, okay, so let's take let's start taking our tape off and let's start sticking it together. So we're just lining those edges up until it starts to come together. Um, Anastasia, I think the die you are looking for is our scalloped and straight edge circle nesting dies so if you pop that into the website scalloped and straight edge nesting dies um, they should come up that is such a great die set to have in your collection i use it all the time obviously i've used it today on my ladybird card just gives it that really nice sort of cute finish doesn't it yeah we've got them available in um, a number of different shapes as well so in if you want the squares or the rectangles um, i think they have them in ovals as well you'll be able to get them all on the website so just type in scalloped and straight edge nesting dies and they'll all come up for you to have a look at would not be without them okay so again just sticking that last little bit and then that is our basket pretty much made in what five minutes hardly Crazy. anything so what we then want to do is just start trimming these triangles off just so that it gives us a really nice neat shape so so quick to put together isn't it oh my goodness yeah it's absolutely you know you i think we look at these projects thinking, oh, that's going to take me, a, you know, an hour. I haven't really got time. And actually, it really doesn't, you know, five minutes. You can make it out of, and to make it out of A4 as well, you know, everybody loves A4 and being able to make 3D projects. And I mean, having um, cardstock that is, looks as fabulous as this means that we then don't need to mat and layer. Oh, absolutely. we've got that design and it looks incredible. Um, absolutely, definitely. It definitely makes 
everything a lot quicker when you're crafting, when you have really stunning cardstock to work with. Yeah, absolutely. So this would be a little bit small for like a normal Easter egg, but it would be good for mini eggs or those, oh, little, yes. those little ones wrapped in foil, like those Malteser eggs or whatever they are. Um, let's not even start thinking about Easter eggs now. Like, oh, just dangerous. So I just with this. I really, let us know in the comments. Have you already had an Easter egg? If so, how many Easter eggs have you already what, had? What, have you had an Easter egg yet? No, I've not had Oh, I was going to say. Um, which does surprise me. I've had like Easter treats. I've had like mini eggs oh, and been eating mini hot eggs cross buns Christmas. and stuff. We've been eating mini eggs since Christmas because the shops have had them in. And we, me and Dan love mini eggs. Oh, so me too. Every time he goes to the shop, he says, do you want anything? And I just look at him and go, just a little bag of mini eggs. You just can't go wrong with them. They should just do them all. I mean, it'd be dangerous, but they should do them all year it's round. so good. There's nothing better than Easter and chocolate. There's nothing. There really isn't. I mean, and I tell you this every time we talk about mini eggs, but I love them so much. My wedding cake was made out of mini eggs. I know. It's just amazing. Because They're what? So good. Exactly. I mean, so it was an Easter wedding. I couldn't have anything else. So, it, you know, it was mini eggs or nothing. So. What I've done is just with a spare piece of cardstock, I've cut that down to half an inch. We're going to sort of keep the length. doesn't really matter. It depends on how long you want the handle to be. And because it is a durable scoreable, we know that we can just sort of weave it round and it'll be the perfect, cute little... Oh, how cute it is really, that? Really is really okay, nice. so let's pop a couple of embellishments on. Um, now, we don't have tons and tons of Easter stuff left. But I brought in, oh, I got a spare sheet from the mag. Yes, the magazine. And we still have this available, you know. So um, you can get our magazine issue 54, I want to say. 64, 64. not 54. <laughs> 64. Definitely um, 64. And it is the most adorable free gift collection that you get. Oh, um, absolutely. Very perfect for springtime. Um, as you can see with this one with the little bunnies on, but you have the other one with the sheep on, you get um, pattern papers, pattern papers, you get stamp. a stamp, and you also have access to download our inserts, which work amazingly together. Absolutely. Because they've all been designed to work perfectly. Perfectly. And, and like you say, it does do after Easter. It is perfect for all those sort of spring occasions yeah. as well. Birthday cards, great for birthday oh, cards. Absolutely. Birthdays. Um, just to say as well, like maybe you just want to say, you know, thinking of you, just because, you, just because, really, really nice for this time of year to send those cards out with in that collection. Oh, definitely, yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, so we're gonna go straight in with this bunny, looking very longingly at his beautiful Easter egg. So we'll just stick that on there, and then I think we'll pop the sentiment as well to one at one side, just coming off there. Happy Easter, so we know exactly what it's for. Um, but you, yeah, absolutely. You can make this for any occasion. Kids are just going to love it. It was the perfect size if you want to hide it in an Easter egg hunt. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Um, you know, it's someone just... said you could put cream eggs in it. Oh, def oh, definitely. Um, perfect. So we've you got our fit happy a good couple of cream on. eggs in there, I think. Oh, oh, easily. Yeah, definitely. I meant to bring a bag in, but uh, I was kind of like rushing this morning. Mm, were you rushing, or have you already eaten them? I'm not even going to say. Don't be mean. <laughs> Don't do this live now. Because if it was me, I'd have already eaten them. Yeah, that ha that does happen. They do not last that long in my house. Oh, my goodness. I know. My mum dropped off all her, like, so for her, because they're her, gran my nephews are her, obviously, grandchildren. And she gave me the task of hiding all their Easter eggs so that they don't see them when they come round. I was like, you're trusting me with everybody's Easter, the family's Easter eggs. No. I was like, are you sure about this? You're going to have to make a list of everything that you've got. And then you can do like a weekly inventory. Pick. Yeah. Well, we've only got like two weeks to go now, haven't we? So two weeks. A yeah, lot that's of Easter it. eggs can be eaten in two weeks. Yep. So I'm just going to pop that just around there, just our little tag so that we can write the name on the back or anything we want to. We'll just have that kind of loose. Might just pop that at the top there. And then we'll put it in a little bow. And then really that is our cute. Easter basket all finished. Oh my goodness. Oops. Okay. It's just a little bit fiddly. I should have maybe done this ahead of time. Let's go in with two loops and see if that's a bit easier. Oh yeah, it is. Perfect. 
Okay, so let's trim our little bow. And then, we, like I say, we've got our tag there just all ready to be, you can definitely write on the back of those. I think so, just pop a name on. Absolutely. Really, really cute. And I mean, if you are doing an Easter egg hunt, um, you know, you could personalize each one for each of the oh, grandchildren, yes. doing them in all different colors. So they're the colors that they've got to look out yes. for. It'd be really, really fun. Um, I love that. Very exciting, really exciting that Easter's coming up as oh, well. Oh, me too. Um, but that is an, a, another really good demonstration showcasing today's products of our Disco Dot Foiled Adorable Scorable and that luxury foiled acetate. There's only a few things left to sell you today and then we are going to leave you to your the rest of your Monday. First of all, we're going to add to the rollover box the Miri Card Special Fairy Dust. Um, this is beautiful, 30 sheet pack in those three different colorways. Um, and Anne Marie is back tomorrow on Hobby Maker. Um, she'll be there at one, three, and five with some um, really, a really beautiful flagship collection. It is stunning. Um, so you can watch that one, three, uh, one and five, and then at three, um, she's bringing you a really um, cool die collection, which you will have already seen. Um, but it is just stunning, and I'm sure her demonstrations are really going to show it off. Um, so make sure you watch her there and then tomorrow we have a trolley dash we've not had one in a really long time um, so join us at 10 a.m tomorrow for trolley dash and see what goodies you can be throwing into your baskets um, but that's a goodbye from me goodbye from becca goodbye everyone goodbye from emily Bye. and we'll see you all again tomorrow